Hello, welcome to Oxford Heirlooms. In this video, we're going to be hemming the little shirt. And this will be the final step um, on creating the little shirt. And then we'll move on to um, sewing the bloomers. Now I've done a little preliminary work on the inside of the shirt. Um, this pattern calls for a one and a quarter inch hem allowance. So going along the inside of the shirt with my um, seam gauge, I made a little mark one and a quarter inch all along the inside of the shirt. Then using my iron, I pressed the bottom of the shirt up five eighths of an inch so that I could turn it up another five eighths of an inch. So five eighths and five eighths is one and a quarter and that will be my entire hem. Now I want to pin this into place because I'm going to machine stitch this into place rather than hand stitching the hem. Since uh, the shirt will be tucked into the button on bloomers, um, it really isn't gonna bother me that the, the shirt is machine stitched um, for the hem. Okay, so I w I'm going to, um, at this, I'm gonna start here at the corners. Um, I'll do one corner at a time and then I'll ease the hem in along the inside. But I'm gonna turn my little corner up at the edge um, at a 45 degree angle, then I will fold that in half and it looks like a little miter here on the corner of the fabric. Let me see if you can see that. Looks like a little miter. Now I can still see the little lines at one and a quarter inch um, where I marked on the fabric. So I'm, and I can kind of see it through the outside of my shirt too, uh, but those will disappear when I iron. Okay, so I'm going to fold that into place and then I'm going to pin the hem into place all along. Well, let me go work on this other end of the garment. Okay, I'm going to fold this up at a 45 degree angle. Then I'll fold it up to where it matches up with the five eight seven inch five eight seven inch mark and then fold it one more time and put a pin in place and that little miter gives me a clean edge so I don't have any little raggedy ends that might poke out a thread hanging out here there we go okay so let me pin my hem into place all along the bottom. I'm going to do the shirt seams next so I can make sure that my seams are lined up nicely. And then I'm going to ease that hem into place and put some pins all along the bottom of the shirt, about every inch and a half or so. Okay, let me come back to this other seam. Line that seam up exactly. Put a pin in. And then ease that hem into place. Put a couple more pins in to hold it. Now the friction erasable pin marks are actually on the inside of the shirt. Uh, but they will disappear when I iron them. Okay, now I need to trim my silk ribbon that was hanging out of the bottom of the shirt. I was careful to make sure um, that I got the full width. Now, since this, um, let's see, where's my marks? Oh, they're there. Okay, since uh, the lace is kind of see-through, I'm gonna make sure that I line up starting from the center of the fancy panel first. Put a couple of pins into place to hold that fancy panel into place. And then I'm gonna line up my lace and entredeau along the bottom of the fancy panel and then continue to ease this hem into place.
Like I said, don't be stingy about putting pins in. You know, there's nothing wrong. I love pins. <laughs> nothing wrong with pins. You almost can't use too many. Let me make sure my lace is folded back. Yes, okay, that is. Okay, and fold this one up to right here. Put a pin in so I have my entredeau lined up. Line up my hems again. Okay, all right now, boy, that took a little bit longer than I expected. Okay, now using my machine, I'm going to sew very close to this folded edge, about 1 16th of an inch, um, and hem the shirt. My thread's out of the way. Okay, I'm gonna start here at this edge, and I'm gonna go forward and backward a couple of stitches. Find my foot pedal. Just go forward and backward a couple of stitches to tack it into place. Take my pins out as I come to them. Oh, I still have a little blue mark on the inside of the shirt. I need to inspect my garment with my little spray bottle of distilled water. But I still need to, I'm gonna have to press this hem when I finish sewing it anyway. Okay, this will take me a minute to get all the way along the bottom of the shirt, so I'll be right back. Okay, I have ironed the little hem and it looks really nice. Now we have completed the hardest part of project number 33. Um, for the boys in that we have made the little shirt. We've got the Peter Pan collar on successfully matching up the lace at the center front and we've got the little tailored sleeves sewn in with no puckers and no gathers. Um, those are some really uh, challenging things to do um, when you're sewing for little boys. Okay, so um, this little shirt is finished, and in the next video, we'll begin to work on the little bloomers that will button on to the shirt. Thank you.